guys! Today I want to show you how to set up a guinea pig cage. This is what my cage looks like and I always try and set it up in a fun way for the guinea pigs. The first thing that you need in your guinea pig cage is the bedding. So if you use fleece you will need that and also towels or puppy pads depending on what you prefer. I use dust extracted wood shavings so I need those. Then you need a few things to put in your guinea pig cage. Absolute must-haves are some form of hay rack so that the hay stays fresh and clean and a water bottle so that your guinea pigs always have enough to drink. And then you need some tunnels, houses or cozy items. These come in so many different varieties that it's up to you and your guinea pigs what you like. I personally have never seen a guinea pig that didn't love tunnels, so these are great. And also, in case your guinea pigs fight over the tunnel, the less dominant one can always flee as it has two entrances. Whatever you choose, always have as many hiding possibilities as you have guinea pigs. You might also need a food bowl, depending on whether you scatter feed or like to give them their food in a bowl. By the way, bowls are also great for measuring out your guinea pig's food or in case you have a sick piggy and want to make sure it eats their fair share of the food. So let's start setting up the cage. The first thing you will do is put the bedding in. That's pretty self-explanatory when you use wood shavings and you just put them in your cage. Then I put the big wooden Heidi house in the cage and that's Frida's absolute favorite because it's very dark and the cool thing about this house is that it has two entrances so the guinea pigs can also use it as some kind of tunnel if they want to. Then it's good to put the hay rack into the cage because guinea pigs need hay 24 7 so they will be spending a lot of time in front of the hay rack. I put the hay rack right in the middle of the cage so that all four piggies can reach it from every side and also so that there's enough space that all four can sit there without touching each other because that's something they absolutely hate. Then I put the water bottle back in and I can really recommend the one I have. It's the Living World one and it's dishwasher safe which is good because I'm always scared that I might not be able to fully clean these bottles by hand and we also never had a problem with leaking with this one either. This is a big willow bridge and guinea pigs really enjoy sleeping in these and they're also great to put hay in. It's also a good idea to put cozy items into the cage. This one doesn't really fit the springtime but the guinea pigs are obsessed with this one. It's not an essential because the most important thing is that your guinea pigs can hide in your cage so it doesn't really matter if you have tunnels, willow bridges, houses or all of these. But cozy items are definitely nice to have as guinea pigs love to relax in those. Here's also a fleece tunnel which the guinea pigs love but as I said before these things are awesome to have and my guinea pigs are big collectors of tunnels in general. But for starters the most important thing is that your guinea pigs feel safe and they feel like they have a roof over their head. So you don't need a big collection of cozy items when you first get your guinea pigs. We also have a kind of built-in house in our cage, which is really only a fancy way of saying that a piece of wood is stuck to the cage, which also provides a great hideout for guinea pigs and it's really cheap to make, so that can also be an idea for a house. A good idea is also to put some hay in other places than the hay rack, because guinea pigs love to snuggle in hay and sleep in it. Good places to put piles of hay are in houses or under willow bridges, as it's a lot of fun for them to explore hidey houses filled with hay. If it's time to feed your guinea pigs, you can also put your food bowls in now. But after cleaning and setting up the cage, my guinea pigs are usually busy eating hay, so that's what they're doing right now. And here you can see what the cage setup looks like. There are lots of places to hide, but there's still enough space for them to run around. It's important that your guinea pigs are still able to move in their cage. So you need a bigger cage than the ones you can get in pet stores if you have lots of guinea pigs, you obviously also need lots of space, but that's how you set up a guinea pig cage. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!